and as you can see, I have no makeup on right now. I know, I'm scary, okay? I actually wanted to show you guys my everyday makeup routine, and I did this about a year ago. I was like, oh, I don't need to do it. They already know what I do, and then I re-watched it and realized every single product I used in that video is completely different. I'm pretty sure I don't use a single item that I did in that video today. This is what I wear constantly when I'm not filming or just going out or something. It is pretty basic. I'm a very basic makeup person, but I wanted to share this with you guys, so let's get started. This is actually the brand of brushes that I've been using recently. I saved the packaging to show you guys because these are amazing. These are the Royal and Langnickel brushes, and I think that I have the Total Face and then an eye kit brush too that I got. They are the softest things ever, and they apply your makeup so smoothly, so that is basically the majority of the brushes that I'll be using for this tutorial. I know I get a bunch of questions on what kind of brushes I use, so those are the ones that I use basically every day. Before I put any kind of makeup on, I have two steps to my routine. So the first one is a toner, and I highly suggest you guys get a toner, any kind of toner. This is a Target brand, and it works amazing. Basically, I don't know all of the facts, so correct me if I'm wrong, but it closes your pores. It doesn't let anything really get into my skin that shouldn't be in my skin, so it helps me not break out. I also go ahead and moisturize my face. I haven't found a moisturizer that I really love. This is just the one that I'm using right now. It's the Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer. The foundation that I've used for basically all of 2015 is this, and this is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I apply little dots with my fingers everywhere. I'm using my Beauty Blender because I'm obsessed with this thing. It just blends everything in super smoothly. I go ahead and let this layer of foundation set. While I'm waiting for that, I go ahead and do my eyebrows just to like kill time, and I use this billion dollar brow palette that I got at Beautycon LA, I think it was this year. And I also use my Anastasia Beverly Hills this brow pencil, I don't really know. I know I'm not the best at doing my eyebrows, but I feel like it, it's such a scary thing and I don't want to overdo it, so I just lightly go with a powder over it just to define them a little bit. After a couple minutes, I will go back over my face with just a little bit more foundation. After I have done my foundation, I go in with concealer, and these are the two that I use. It's the NARS Creamy Concealer in Vanilla, and then I also, for under my eyes, use the Naked Skin in Light Warm. So I use two different ones. I don't really need to but I do it just because I have them. <laughs> I don't really know. I use the Royal and Lang Nickel foundation brush to actually buff in my concealer because it's super soft but also dense at the same time and it just blends it really nicely. Then for underneath my eyes, I just use my Beauty Blender. My newest favorite powder is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. It is a micro HD finishing powder and it's loose which is kind of annoying but it's also super smooth on your skin. I also bake my under eyes which is a little bit strange and what it is is you're just taking a bunch of powder and placing it where you want want to like bake your makeup and I use the powder brush from Royal and Lang Nickel and I just kind of swirl this around and I only put it in my t-zone I know I look funny with all this powder underneath my eyes but next is contouring and this is the famous contour palette that I use the Smashbox one I go ahead and grab the contour shade and I chisel out my cheekbones and the sides of my nose now is highlighting which is one of my favorite parts of makeup I use the benefit what's up and I just apply this to my cheekbones down my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow I use the Laura Geller highlighter I think it's a highlighter in ballerina it's just this golden one I go ahead and apply this on my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose a little bit on my forehead now I go ahead and take my powder brush again and I swipe off the under eye bake that we put there about like 10 minutes ago. I tend to make my face look really pale and I don't mean to do it so I always go in with bronzer. This is the It Cosmetics by Jamie Kern. Bronzer in Vitality Glow Matte Bronzer. I love matte bronzers so I just take this super big fluffy brush and I apply it in the normal like three emotions wherever the sun would hit your face. The first thing I use is a Smashbox contour palette and I use my contour color with a super big fluffy brush and I just apply this to the crease just to add a little bit of like a natural looking definition without any shimmer and I just use this fluffy brush from a Royal and Lang Nickel then I use their angle eyeshadow brush and I apply this really old shadow this is the MAC shadow in Naked Lunch and I've literally had this since like eighth grade I bought it because it was Celine Gomez's favorite eyeshadow and I just wanted to be here like really badly honestly times have not changed I apply this all over to my lid just to give it a bit of shimmer I also apply this mixed with the lighter shade in the contour palette below my eyebrow I use the Estee Lauder Pure Color Intense Eyeliner in black and cocoa, so it's like a super dark brown. I apply this to my tight line and my waterline, and I also smudge it above my upper lash line. And I use the Smoky Eye Buffer Brush to buff this out. After that, I go ahead and apply mascara, and the two mascaras that I've been loving are the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara, because it literally 
literally makes your lashes so long. And also for my lower lash line, I like the CoverGirl Lash Blast in Waterproof. This mascara stays for days. It's insane and my eyes always tend to water. This is the lip combination that I've basically been wearing since May. This is the Marc Jacobs Lipstick in Roleplay and I'm obsessed with the formula and the color and everything. Then I use the It Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the color Naturally Pretty and it's one of their butter glosses so it's again super nice not sticky at all and it's pretty much the same color as the lipstick just a little bit darker that is my everyday makeup I do this when I'm wearing makeup again I don't wear makeup every single day if you guys want to check out the Royal and Langnickel brushes make sure to check the links down below they have a new line called the Moda line and it is insanely amazing that is what I used today I really recommend the total face brush because you get a bunch of face brushes and also eye brushes thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later bye